What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. So today we are going to learn on how to do a custom gravity menu uh, which separates uh, view amongst two types of user which is user or admin and this is actually inspired by a comment from Jian Wen Yap 6188 and the question is if it's if it is if it's possible for my default starting view to be employee menu for employee but for admin i want the starting view to be admin menu so yes so this would be relevant to our case uh, thank you jian wen yep for the question and of course with that being said with, uh, let's not waste time and let's check it out all right guys so for today we will try to do the custom menu but this time with a bit of extra settings which is we are using gravity so i explained to you in a bit gravity and what it does so again we have the user table so we have the name email role and gravity then we have menu table we have the unique id name gravity and preview and of course data is just some sample data that i have uh, basically for your case could be any data or transaction tables or any other table sets of, uh, that you have for your app so once you have all that ready we can head on to app sheet and of course i've added all the rest, uh, necessary tables in so we have data menu and user so we'll just go one by one so for menu we have unique id so i'm just gonna make sure everything is in place so we have initial value which is unique id then we have name basically the name of the menu gravity which is number preview which is the image so image basically could be icons or any menu images that you want to use instead of words uh, i prefer it that way so that it's much more uh, pleasing to for the user experience then we have user table so of course we have the name email role and gravity so role we have user and admin uh, this will be slightly irrelevant for our case today but i'm just going to put here just for fun but uh, i want to make sure we look into gravity itself in user table so we have the formula so if role is equal equals to user then the gravity is one if the role is admin then the gravity is five so what this number represents is basically the score for each of the role that we have assigned for the user so this will be useful for us later when we set the gravity in the menu itself all right so in a nutshell if the user has gravity of one then he or she will be able to see menu items that awaits gravity one and if the person is uh, an admin with gravity five then he or she will be able to see menu items that is uh, having the gravity of five and less than five okay so let's just start off by adding the menu items okay so say for example i have created some views here as you can see in my reference views i have chart form table and users so basically out of these four i want to make sure admin is able to see the user table or the user view uh, for normal users alongside with admin we'll be able to see chart form and table okay 
So let's create the menu first. All right, so for menu, we want to make sure we create or use the name that represents the exact same spelling. So let's start with chart. Okay, since I've created a view called chart and the gravity is say one, I'm just going to add the preview, which is an image. Then the next one will be form and gravity is say one as well. Okay. And the next one would be table. Gravity is also one. And last but not least, the users table where we can control or assign roles of users. And this is something I want to be exclusively available for admin. So I'm going to set it as five. And I purposely use a yellow font so that it's easier to see the difference later. All right. So now we have all this ready. And for menu view, we'll be using gallery so that it's basically uh, easier to see. All right. So let's save for now. So to create a custom menu, so instead of when I click chart, it goes to details. But to create a custom menu, we want to create an action prior to setting the custom menu. So let's head on to actions. And we want to look for menu here. All right. So let's add a new action called go to view. And do this. We want to select go to another view within this app. Okay. So it says here, go to another view within this app. And the target is link to view. And the destination is based on the name that we have set in the menu uh, table earlier. All right. And we want to hide this for now. So back to view under menu. Okay. If you scroll down and look for behavior, there is an event actions. So when we select the row, so automatically it will assign us to view the details. So we don't want that. We want to select the action that we have created earlier, which is go to view and we save. So there's quite a few simple steps for us to create custom menu. So if I were to select chart here, it goes to chart. If I go to form, it goes to form, table and users. So it's quite straightforward to create a custom menu. So we are done. We are, we have completed the first half of the, um, custom gravity menu. So the next step for us is to add users. Okay. So let's create an admin. I mean, obviously it will be myself and the email that I'm using. So I'm assigning myself as admin. All right. So based on the expression way earlier, we have said when the role is equivalent to admin, then the gravity will be five. Let's save it for now. And let's say we create another user called John Doe. And let's just use a random email. And we'll assign John Doe as a user. So automatically, uh, John Doe is having gravity of one. Okay, so we have two users available. Now up to now 
going to the final step, which is we want to filter the items that we see here according to the gravity. All right. So to do that, so since my primary uh, navigation is using menu, we want to create a slice for the menu itself. So let's add a slice to filter the data and create a new slice for the menu table. Let's call this gravity menu. And the row filter condition would be as follows. So we will look up the user email, basically the person who is actually logged in and compare it with the user table. And based on the email that's existing in the table, comparing with the person logging in, it will then look for the gravity. So whatever gravity that he or she is having must be more or equals to the gravity. Okay, so to put it in context, um, if the menu is five, then I'm having five as gravity. So it has to be uh, tallied to the gravity itself. So if the menu is one, so I must have gravity of one or more. If the menu is five, I must have, I personally must have five or more. So let's save this for now. And going back to the menu itself. Okay. So instead of using the uh, general menu data, I'm using the slice gravity menu. Okay. So as you can see, the items in the menu is still the same because for one reason is I'm logged in using this email. And based on the email, I am an admin. But if I were to use John Doe's email, okay, check this out. If I were to apply this, the user's uh, menu item will disappear. Let's apply this. So there you go. So a normal user would then be able to see only these three items and admin will be able to see an additional one, which is the user's item or menu. So there you go. That's one of the easiest way to create a custom menu. So instead of doing multiple views for different roles, I'm doing it in a single uh, view using a filtered uh, slice for menu based on the gravity of the user itself. Now, gravity is useful because perhaps in your app, you have more than one uh, type of user. Say you have a viewer, you have editor, you have admin, you have super admin. So all of that may consist of different gravities and some menu items may share multiple across multiple uh, types of users. That's where gravity comes in handy in terms of doing expressions instead of listing down the roles. So you can, in, uh, instead of playing with roles, you can just play with gravity. So I hope this helps. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I apologize that this is slightly lengthier than my previous videos. Uh, I don't tend to, I don't plan to rush for this tutorial since there's a few uh, detailed steps that we need to take in order for this to work. But anyways, regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't so that you will, may find more contents like this in the future. I'm Aris Azaha and I thank you for your time and hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.